All right. So let's look at the factors that affect the price elasticity of demand. Uh, so the more, mainly theoretical. So um, first factor, so that or either if you increase PED, you have a more elastic demand curve. If you decrease PED, you have a more inelastic demand curve. That's the basic idea. So first is the number of uh, and the closeness. So basically, number and closeness of substitutes, which we learned were alternatives. Right. So the idea here is if you have fewer substitutes, right? Uh, so either like amount wise, they're few, like let's say, um, like Uber might have amount wise few substitutes. There's only really Kareem here uh, or stuff like you ride. Uh, so it might have amount wise, number wise few substitutes. But the second thing when we talk about closeness is how substitutable the two products are. And Kareem is a pretty close substitute to Uber. Shayad substitute ek hi ho, but bahut close ho to phir, phir baat ban jati hai. So here, so if there are few substitutes and or, um, well, you know, substitutes that aren't close. So, you know, not good substitutes, uh, not close. If there are come here substitutes, you are close. Nahi hai, so you have low PED value that is more inelastic. And the reason for that is basically because then a price is price open each other because you don't have that many alternatives, right? If a product doesn't really have that it's an substitute to it's other substitutes, then you're kind of like, you know, dependent on that particular product, right? I mean, you'd, you'd buy irrespective of the price changes. And if you're not responding that much to price, you have low responsiveness. That is a case of inelastic and you just, Flip this for elastic, you know, more substitutes or uh, closer substitutes, elastic case. Um, this especially links to a branding uh, in a lot of cases because elastic, because you know, whether a product is elastic or inelastic really depends on the perception of different consumers. So, um, something like an iPhone could, could be, you know, a product that's very elastic for me. Uh, because I'm like, yeah, there are a lot of substitutes for someone else. They may be like, no, there cannot be any substitute to an iPhone or to an Apple product like Android. This doesn't make the cut. So for someone, the same product because of branding uh, or whatever the, uh, the iPhone has um, could become inelastic. Where for someone else, it could be highly elastic. So, so elasticity is also subjective and depends consumer to consumer. But generally, so substitutability ke baat ke liye, um, we can talk about luxury versus necessity products. Necessity products. So here the idea is that necessity products are generally, you know, inelastic. So luxury, they're generally considered to be elastic. Well, obviously the idea is if you're if you're buying a private jet, private jet ki prices up and you know, half rogue do okay. However, agar travel ya arte ya, you know, necessity products ki prices up and you you would still have to buy them, right? If the price of arta of like rice increases, you still need the rice because it's a necessity product. So you won't, you'll decrease the quantity, but you won't decrease it by that much, right? Uh, however, however, the price of, of rice decreases, aap pagal ho jao ge, aap, you know, you will still just buy what you wanted to buy because it's a necessity. Uh, that's the basic idea here. Um, another thing is, you know, habit forming. Our habit forming products tend to be inelastic. Uh, by habit forming, you know, habit or addiction forming, so sutta, all that type of stuff, um, you know, uh, if it is habit forming or you have a habit of consuming it, uh, you'd be less sensitive to price changes, which makes it inelastic for you. Um, another is time period, which is a lovely thing where you can use in all the elasticity. So normally in the short run, things are considered to be inelastic. In the long run, things are considered to be elastic because the idea is it is short run. Mein, 
you have le- i mean you have less knowledge and less less availability of substitutes as well right uh, in the longer run it is easy for you to respond and to look around and maybe change your consumption and so on um five is proportion of income spent spent on the product and the idea here is if it's a high proportion by proportion we mean you know percentage like basically percentage but you just don't multiply so okay, yeah so if there's a higher proportion or uh, uh, the higher the proportion the more the elasticity so like you know basically the idea is it's going to be more elastic why is that so if you think about it you buy pencils right but pencils make up a very small proportion of your overall expenditure the hence pencil fee price 10% to be bad jaye 100% to be bad jaye you would probably just continue to buy the amount of pencils you needed anyways right you wouldn't really be very responsive to a change in price of pencils why because you don't care they're they're pencils they're a very small percent of your in, of your you know a, a, a expenditure how or, or, or you know or, of your expenditure or of your income that's the basic idea but however if you're spending if you're like spending half your income on, on uber and kareem rides for example then you'd be extremely extremely active and aware about and responsive to the price changes there because us pe price change ho gaya and you didn't respond to it that would cost you a lot more than a price change in pencils would hence you would be much more active and much more responsive to a to cases where you're spending a large amount of your income on a particular product wo mehanga ho gaya then you want to buy less of it wo sasta ho gaya you want to buy you know you will change your quantity demanded by a larger amount that's the idea so we have factors affecting pd and we've got that um 